I am going to replace my SV Boney 80 millimeter ED scope for an AstroTech 80 millimeter EDT, which is a triplet APA. I've been using the scope now for about a year and a half. It's really a great scope. It does a fantastic job. But I'm replacing it because, well, I wanted to upgrade my image quality. This is a great beginner scope. It's a great scope for someone who wants to learn astrophotography. Um, but one of the issues that I've had with this scope is halos, um, especially blue halos. Even though it has ED glass, it has a FPL 51 um, piece of glass, it still um, isn't able to really deal with blue halos as well as I had hoped. I first thought that maybe some of the haloing was due to my filter because I shoot monochrome and so I essentially would um, shoot you know hydrogen oxygen and sulfur and so my filters for those are six nanometers so I thought that maybe by picking up a oxygen 3 uh, 2 inch um, 3 nanometer uh, filter would help with my halos and it does to a degree but they're still halos and it's especially noticeable like on this image here that I'm going to show you of the Horsehead Nebula area and you can see where some of these blue halos are just it's just too much and so I decided that I would upgrade to a triplet APO in hopes that I could eliminate some of the blue halos. And so, as I move my SV Zoni over here to the side, I have my AstroTech, which just came in. I don't really do unboxing videos, so I didn't necessarily do the unboxing, but it came double boxed, which I was totally, totally thrilled with. Um, came in a double box and um, well protected so thank you AstroTech and it comes of course in a case which most I think scopes these days come in cases although my SV Boney here did not come in a case but this AstroTech is in a case and I only open this thing long enough to check to make sure that the glass was not broken. my replacement scope. This is an AstroTech 80, I don't know if I can see my finger, yeah. EDT. So this is a triplet APO, has a nice metal cap just like my SV Boney does and you can see inside there, hopefully you can see that, it's an apochromatic triplet. 480 millimeter focal length which is going to be a change it's about 80 millimeters wider than the SV Boney which came in at 560 uh, this thing comes in at 480 it's also an f6 not an f7 so it's going to be a little bit faster than the SV Boney which was an f7 um, this thing's an f6 but other than that, it's essentially, it's very, very similar to the SV Boney. I'm kind of amazed. What's different is kind of this business end here, if you will, where the focuser is. Uh, it's got very big focus knobs, much, much bigger than my SV Boney. It has a protective cap, 
similar to the S3 Boney. Um, it racks out to 90 millimeters and has millimeter markings, as you can probably see right there. It's very, very smooth. I'm sending her racking this thing and there's no uh, there's no gearing, there's no, you know, ticks or any feeling of it um, hitting anything rough. It's just very, very smooth. I'm really impressed with it. It's very, very smooth. Put that cap back on. It comes with rings and a Vixen bar which I'm going to replace with this Los Mandy bar that's on this current SV Boney. I'm basically just going to swap them out and this guy will go into here. Um, one thing that is interesting about this AstroTech is that it's smaller. Here's the SV Boney and then here's the AstroTech and we're right even. And basically, this guy ends where this rotator is on the SV Boney. It ends here. So the SV Boney goes out another almost three inches. So it's a much smaller scope than the SV Boney. It's also significantly lighter because it is smaller. Um, it comes with a rotator which is located right here so you loosen this and it enables you to rotate oh, let me tighten that up there we go it enables you to rotate so you do get the rotating functionality actually you can take the whole thing right out haven't done this yet. It's two and a half inch. Yeah, comes right out. Two and a half inch. Take a look inside. It has baffles. I don't know if you can even see them in there. But it's got baffles all the way down the tube. And it's all nice and flat black. So that's good. And I'm looking forward to dressing this guy up. So it comes with an adapter here for two to one and a quarter which is pretty standard stock on most of these these days and it came with I'll end up taking it off but here's um, a shoe so you can stick in a finder scope or whatever that you want um, because I load my finder scope on the top bar uh, which is an upside down um, Vixen bar that I put my guide scope on. I will end up replacing. Um, I'll take this thing off. I don't need it. And I'll just move the bars and stuff over to the scope. So this is my new AstroTech 80 um, EDT. Some of the specifications. This is 80 millimeter. Um, it has 480 millimeter for focal length. It's f6. Uh, it resolves down to 1.45 arc seconds. Um, visual limiting magnitude is 12, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm not going to go over the tube length. Well, the tube length is 15 inches. That's with the lens shade here retracted, or the dew cover if you retract it out. We are out at 17 inches, so there's two inches um, of play in here. 
Uh, the weight of the tube itself is five and a half pounds. And with the rings and the dovetail, it comes out to six and a half pounds. So the rings and the dovetail themselves are a pound. And of course, the rings look just like the rings for the SV Boney. Pretty straightforward. The rings have um, have um, felt, which is nice. Protects the OTA. And there we are. There's the OTA. Optical tube assembly. So that's my new scope. Is this um, brand new AT eighty millimeter EDT? So I'm going to try something. I was going to move all this stuff off of the old one, but I'm thinking, I think the tubes are about the same. So let me see if it'll work. If I just. look essentially identical. So I'm curious to see whether or not I really have to remove all that stuff or if I can just move scopes across. So here's my SV Bunny with my focuser that I'm going to have to remove. And then here is the new I'm thinking it might fit. Yeah, they fit. Perfect. Which means I don't have to sit there and play. All I have to do is remove this. Um, let me move that right there. Okay. Uh, move that right there. I think it will fit. That's fine. I think I might need to move this. Essentially the same rings. In fact, they're identical rings. Yeah, they're identical. <laughs> so, so basically, this is already pretty much it. There we go. I might move this ring in. I think I can move it in a little bit more. Or 
I might not be able to. No, I don't think I can. I think I'm stuck with those rings right there. And that's fine. So now my Astro Tech AT80 EDT is ready to go. All I need to do is swap over the focuser, which I'll do here in a minute. And I won't show you a video of that. You don't need to watch me do that. And I'll be ready for first light. So um, I'll let you know, probably another video um, as to how it works because I have to get the autofocusing routine down and, um, and those kinds of things before I can really do kind of a first light. So I'll probably do a separate first light video. But that's my major upgrade for this coming season. So clear skies. And thanks for watching and again if you want to learn more stuff and watch my journey in astrophotography just click on the subscribe button down there and click on the little notification bell so that when new videos come out you'll be notified of them so again clear skies and thanks for watching